Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here once again with the Cursed Estate and we are ready with a team set to go. We have Canis at level 4, Werewolf very near to level 5. She's going to be coming out with the main bleed skills going on. Uh, should be pretty good because we're going to the Warrens. Blight isn't super useful, but we are bringing these guys anyways. I'm going to bring Marissa Mel, our Viper. Uh, mainly going to be using her skills such as Tongue Pull, Sweeping Slash and Slithering Stab. I think these are going to be really helpful. Decked her out with mainly just the, uh, the Focus Ring legendary bracer for that extra damage and crit uh, and then because we're using um marissa mel i thought bringing verona our snake charmer only made sense mainly she's going to be using the last light here to prevent night and ambush buff up prot as well as get a little bit of healing and she's got the uh, Josephine's head there just for a massive 20 plus dodge i think it's going to help out quite a lot because she does have a kind of low health base uh, mainly again we're going to be using like constrict um, we're going to be using Calming Toxins, and as well, if we can manage it, we can use the, uh, the the charm there to give extra actions. And then, as our healer, we've got Maggie, mainly with the um, extra restoration and healing. And I think this is going to be a pretty good little combo, I'm hoping so at least. We're going to hop into the Warrens on a long mission, and we're getting the Chef's Knife set for... Um, for Maggie here, so we're prepared, we're ready to go. Let's uh, let's get ourselves all of the provisions we need and jump on down in there. We don't need them. Uh, jump on down in there and see what we can get done. Uh, hoping this is a good setup. But first of all, we do have a diary entry here for Annie, our Vestal, and this is by Blank Gaming. I can't believe my terrible luck. I was sent adventuring with two unholy beings that the light damned, uh, and, and that light damned Sophia. I don't know what light she believes in, but it's not the holy one. From time to time, she'd read out a book she claims she took from a church, which I refuse to believe. Every time she reads from it, I just, I just felt wrong. Like, what she was doing um, would be my downfall, but their rise. She also sometimes just randomly vanished from sight. I don't know what kind of witch she was, but I'll expose her true intentions in the name of the light. As I said last episode, I didn't think Annie would be very happy with walking out with those guys. But at the same time, I did I did think it'd be kind of a fun little thing to go through that. By the way, we've got 90% of rooms here. This is going to be a quite treacherous adventure. There is a lot to clear. But we are on a level we are on a level four mission with mostly level fives. So we should be okay. Everyone's got their skills upgraded. I made sure of that beforehand. Uh, so let's just see how it goes. We're literally just going to go up and down the rows. I'm probably going to skip out on these two rooms here and then go up and down all these other rows. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so... Let's see. Ooh. What? We have what what? We have five skills here. What what what's this? I need I need to check this. So we have a normal four skills here and we have a fifth one. Swear. Self, it'll shuffle her for one round. Uh, but it'll buff her um Oh, that's pretty interesting. So essentially we can shuffle her around and get different buffs depending on where she ends up. I don't think we need to do that yet, but that's kind of an interesting an interesting thing that we can do with her. I like that a lot. That's definitely going to be something that we um, that we use a little bit here. Uh, so we're, pr we're probably just going to go for the stab first. Huge crit there from Mel. Or Marissa, should I say. Uh, let's just set up our repost here. That's going to heal us, give us a little bit of prot as well. Setting up that repost is so nice just for that prot. Um, and then here, we can just start cooking. Give everyone that little bit of restoration, that boost. Then we should be able to get some big, big uh, bleeds on everyone here. Web coming in on Maggie. That's okay, though. we got a dodge. Like I said, this part is kind of interesting, but I I, I do hope it could be quite good. Um, Canis has kind of been somewhat of an outcast recently. Um, she's not exactly been the... Um, nice hit. She's not exactly been the most spoken to person in the um in the hamlet but i do think that she's getting there and i do think that she's contributing enough to the adventures i think people should at least be able to see that she's um that she's Why trying even if um test. what people Alan know of her past and what people know of her um her current affliction may be a little off-putting but these guys here especially marissa mel and um verona here they're both somewhat um, afflicted by some horrible past events. So I think they can they can take her for what she is and understand her worth in battle that and actually struck. actually work the alongside her. Um, we've got a new enemy back here. But yeah, hopefully just work alongside her and actually take her for what she is and um, 
Hopefully it'll form some friendships. Okay, we took a big hit there. That's that's a pretty big hit, but that's okay. A stun off the bat's kind of annoying. Um, let's just quickly torch up. I think bypassing guards really nice here, uh, but I don't know what's going to be best. Um, I think we try and just pull you to the front. There we go. And try and take you out early, because that's an annoying enemy. This guy in the back, this new one, he's going to be the most difficult, definitely. Um, let's have a little look-see here. I think for now, let's just go for the heal. Nice one. We don't need to set up... Um, nice dodge. We don't need to set up our, our cooking just yet, I don't think. Huge crits there. And we even get higher crits on bleeding, so I'm happy about that. We're probably going to take some crits here from that hook where it hurts. Especially while this guy's stealthed, but we'll we'll see about that. Might not be a problem yet. Um, we'll set up the repost here. Of course, these guys do have some decent blight resist, so the repost isn't super helpful in that regard. But it does give us that prot, so I don't mind. And there you go. We, we killed on a repost already there. Actually, yeah, the, the damage on repost is pretty good. This this enemy's got some, some mighty strong debuffs. I'm actually a little bit scared. Um, let's go for you. We definitely want to get some healing going on now. A bit more bleed there. It's always going to pull you to the front. It's kind of why I put these skills on Marissa Mel here. I think that's going to work out really nice. So let's let's get to cooking. This will get everyone starting started with their healing and put everyone back on top. The one problem we do have right now, and I'm a little bit scared of, is we don't have a lot of self-healing on Maggie. Um... Maggie's not able to get too much healing off. Okay. Let's have a little look. See, can Maggie heal herself with this? I think she can, yeah. So that's what, probably what we'll have to do. I think for now, we go for the stun and minus dodge. You've got pretty high dodge. Let's stun you. In Radiance, yeah, there you go. We find We've got quite a lot of stun abilities on this team, so we, we can't heal ourselves. Okay, um... But what we can do is, you see this here, we can go like that and steal the restoration. That gives us some back. Okay. So we do have actually a pretty strong self-heal. It's just a bit more, a bit different to what you'd expect. Finish you off. I know that you're stunned. We probably could have, should have gone for the hook where it hurts, guy, but that's okay. Got to remember as well that when the cooking finishes, we will get, um, we will get healing across the board. There you go. All the restoration ends and we get that across the board. Oh, we got a new trinket already. Uh, the Foul Javelin. Uh, plus extra five crits of ranged skills. Plus 20% monster surprise if torch is below 51. That's actually pretty interesting. If we get the other side of that, that could be pretty good. We also have these as well. The random edible things that we can take. We can um, eat a little bit of food here as well as we go, which I probably will do from time to time. Um, it's not going to be super necessary, but we've got a lot of food right now. I know this is a long adventure, so that does mean that it's a little more problematic. As well, of course, I've brought the um, last light torch. I can't remember who it's on now. It's Verona, isn't it? Yeah, I brought the last light torch just because it means we've got that prevent nighttime ambush, which I think is going to be very, very useful. But yeah, we're, we're essentially going to be going up and down the aisles here and seeing what we can find. There is uh, some small boss chances, mini boss chances, that we have with uh, the Herby Monsters mods. So we might end up coming across the uh, Swine Chieftain at some point. Um, yeah, honestly, let's just... Ah, uh, unfortunate dodge. I was going to try and stun that guy. Um, let's pull you to the front instead. I don't know if that disables his abilities, but that should be pretty decent. And then you, let's just get some Blight on you. That also pulls you forward. This is great. Oh, unfortunate misses again here. But having these two set up at the front is going to uh, make it a little easier to kill them first. The problem is these two uh, hook it where it hurts, which very much is a problem. But they're stealth right now, so we can't really do much too much about them anyways. We do have a pretty strong stress heal, so I'm looking forward to being able to use that. Um, yeah, we're just waiting for the crits to come in from Hook It Where It Hurts. It's gonna, it's gonna be bad when it happens. Lots of blight coming out here, though. Doomsday once again. Like I said, we have a pretty strong stress heal, so stress doesn't bother me too much. We're just hoping for the dodges when we can get them, and hoping for no diseases. Um, so, yes, this time we hit them. You're dead now. You are near to dead. So let's, um... Yeah, let's get you. Annihilate. And then I think Verona. Let's uh, let's use the calming toxins here. You have pretty high blight resist, so you should hopefully resist that blight. And indeed you did. 
Uh, and of course, you can see massive stress heals there. So these hooks, they're going to start being a problem. So we probably want to cook now and get um, get that ready. Get the restoration on everyone. It's a lot of restoration to come out, really. It helps a lot. No body there as well, which means we can hit a bit further ahead. The debuff coming out. Um, I'm going to keep doing this. Just because, yeah, nine stress healing, that's pretty good. She's going to receive slightly less stress healing because she's using this head. But that's okay. That's okay. Nice crit. Should be a good amount of bleed there. Three over three. Indeed it is. And honestly, using this attack is so good. Unfortunately, we're getting quite a lot of dodges right now. But that's okay. Um, yeah. Drop that on you. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Gives you a bit of restoration back. Gives us some of your restoration. I love that. That works out really well. I kind of expected her to get hit a little more Marissa Mel here, so I thought it'd be best. I love her weaponry. The, these little arm blades that she's got look really cool. Uh, we'll definitely stun you. Your stun resist is pretty low, so pretty easy success there. And... Let's get some Blight on you as well, why not? Blight's hitting pretty hard there. And then we can just finish you off like that. Give them no quarter. And Canis, maybe you can get enough damage on this guy. Enough bleed to, to finish him off. Yes, we've got him. Okay, we have transformed as well. A crit there. What's that crit bonus? Extra armor piercing on a crit bonus? That's really nice. We get extra prop from that as well, I didn't realize. So we're going to be very prop heavy here. Yeah, we should be good to go now. 27 Blight. <laughs> Got to be careful using that uh, that last cooking ability, though, because you can only cook once uh, or twice, I think it is. And if you if you run out of that, you have, you've essentially negated your amount of healing by quite a large amount. So you've got to be very careful about the timing when you use that. Very, very careful indeed. We keep pushing forward, though. Some easy enemies here. Very easy battle. Only two guys. Kind of rare that you only see two, but kind of nice when you do. So we, did, we didn't get the stun there either, unfortunately. I was hoping we would. We're going to try and kill you first. Yeah, we got you. As you can see, some of these level 5 classes are, um, are killing these dudes pretty easily at the moment. Keep slicing on you. Good amount of bleed there. Yes, and we're getting good amounts of dodges as well, which is really nice. But yeah, very shortly, in fact, probably in the next few episodes, we'll be going on to the um, the next the next level of bosses. And I'm sure they will get much, much more difficult. Uh, they'll be the level 5 bosses, and we'll have to heavily prepare for those, I think. Heavily prepare, indeed. Gotta keep heading this way. Lots of battles, actually. Quite a lot, indeed. Um... Yet yeah, another slightly easier battle, but this guy could end up inflicting quite a lot of um, of stress on us. So, let's see. His stun is 70. Yours is 40. Our stun here is 130. Let's go for the stun on you, then. That just stops us having to worry about him for this first turn. Let's go with another stab there. I really do like the idea of this extra move. I just wish I'd have known about it prior. If I'd have known about it prior, I'd have built a little bit around it, but I couldn't. It's okay, though. Quite high blight resist, but we did manage to hit it there, so... Works out nonetheless. Um, and yeah, let's let's set up for Perth this time, I think. Mainly because of that. Oh no, that doesn't repurse. I, I always forget that doesn't repurse. Um, we'll set up for on you as well then. We got two repurses here. I love these two as a, as a combo. It's always nice when classes that are themed the same actually work together gameplay-wise. I'm not sure if it's um, if it's the cr mod creator's intention for that to happen, but it's always nice when it does. Let's quickly just get rid of that bleed. And we'll get some bleed on you. Nice amount there. Um, yeah, let's uh, get some restoration and healing on you. 
Oh, ho, ho, the double crit. As soon as something's bleeding, our chance to crit it goes up by about 15%, so it's pretty big. Uh, calming toxins, we're at 28 and 25. Let's go for that. We've got pretty good blight resist, so we should be okay here. There you go. And these guys are effectively dead now, I think. I think both of them are, actually. Lovely stuff. A little bit of stress coming in after this. That claimant trinket, I think we already have that. Even if we don't, it's not a great one. It's only a white rarity. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, group is pushing on, doing just fine right now. And like I said, I'm really loving the combo between some of these guys. This is a really good thing uh, when we get um, the surprise right off the bat. This guy apparently can still go first, even on a surprise, which is surprising. <laughs> I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, let's get you. We might be able to take you out with a bleed in a moment. Um, hmm. I'm going to do this. I'm going to give you a second action. Um, and yeah, let's just set up a blight on you because that will kill you. Oh, actually, that was a bad idea because that pulled him forward. Now we've wasted a little bit of potential here, which is not what I wanted. I can headbutt you, which stuns you. Ah, oh, unfortunate. I did try to get the stun there. I was really hoping we could stun him for the uh, little bit of extra damage. But, uh, and stun, sorry. But, unfortunately not. But we're taking these guys out without losing too much health here. So, the good thing is we've got a pretty high dodge group here. Everyone's like dodging at least once or twice a fight, really. And everyone on the team's got really good Blight Resist. So we're able to use Calming Toxins very easily. We're just hoping we don't take any diseases here. Nice dodge. Um, let's move back and do that. <clears throat> there you go. Cut through his prop. And we can get even more of that going on here. There you go. You're almost dead now. Um, let's get to cooking. And I'll actually just next turn finish our cooking because we should be able to kill these guys and round this fight up pretty easily. I'm just like basically going to be using calming toxins mainly here to get rid of all this stress. These guys are getting quite high up there in the stress. But while we've got this build, if we take a little look here, um, our base blight resist is uh, 90, which is pretty good. So we've only got like a 10% chance. Yours is only 50, but that's because of spotted fever. I didn't actually realize that we had that. That's kind of kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, we've got a bit of extra there as well. And yours is 65, which isn't terrible. But yeah, that, that disease is definitely something we should look at getting rid of. Um, I didn't realize we had that. Hit you there, then you're guaranteed dead to the bleed now. Should be able to dodge. Oh, unfortunately not. We did get blighted. So yeah, we definitely want to look at getting rid of that disease. I don't know how long Verona has had that, but that's definitely not the sort of thing we want. There you go. We did unfortunately contract rabies from that, which is unfortunate. I knew it was a possibility, but I was hoping it wouldn't happen. Right, let's see how much blight that ends up giving you. Oh, he resisted it. That's such a huge blight hit, and he resisted it. Shame, but we've, we've got enough damage here to be able to get through this, especially if we stun this guy as well. There you go. Debuffs his dodge too, so pretty much guaranteed to hit him now. Okay. Why not? Sedated. And then there you go. 29 crit. Marissa Mel coming in with the huge hits here. Oh, we actually got ourselves a summoning page. Um, let's throw away these and grab both of these. And then you can just eat that. Get that 5% disease resistance for one battle. Not terrible. Yes, yeah, so we're going to go up this way now, then around, then down, then back here. That should be quest over. Damn. The Black Plague. That has to be one of the worst diseases I've ever seen. So we can't use our toxins on her anymore. She's going to be getting so many diseases while we're here. And she's got mine. That's insane how strong. Minus five speed. That is the most deadly disease I've ever seen. 
And the problem with this is, I don't think... Oh, no way. <laughs> we have a removed disease, but it's only on Companion, and we don't have it unlocked. Let's just check the rest of the squad and see if we have any uh, removed diseases here. Oh, my God. That's unfortunate. I doubt we have anyone here that's going to remove diseases. Because that's a really, really bad disease to get this early on into this. We are going to see um, a big a big tick up in the amount of... Uh, the amount of blights and diseases we take on Maggie here, which is real unfortunate because, like I said, we're not too far into this dungeon and we kind of need the, the toxins to be able to... Nice dodge. We need the, the, the toxins to be able to manage that stress and with a minus 75% to blight resist, it essentially guarantees, almost guarantees, that it's always going to blight, so... It's it's not very it's not very usable anymore, which is a real shame because that was a that was a nice setup. It just we got hard countered there, and we've also got hard countered by spotted fever as well. So they're definitely two diseases that I'll be looking at getting rid of immediately as we finish this um as we finish this dungeon up. Let's see. Okay, this is this is a buff, isn't it? So I, I think I want to buff your damage. I'm pretty sure this is what this does. Yeah, thirty percent damage. So we'll try and hold off camping for now. Uh, we, we don't really need it yet, but we want to keep that damage. And we might find a few more of those barrels. My, my max that I found on one quest is three. So let's see if we can get that again. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, we are going to have to abstain from our um, Carmen Toxins, at least on these back two characters, which is a real shame. A real shame. And Mind Rot. There's a lot of diseases. This is, this is why I don't like that minus disease resist, because there's already a lot of diseases coming in. Um, prone to mindless meandering. Oh, my God. This is... Are we going to get killed by diseases? <laughs> It'll be the first time we've, lo we've lost a member specifically due to diseases, but it's very possible. Especially these guys. These these two in the back are going to be throwing out diseases left, right, and center. This is um, slightly worrying, definitely. Slightly worrying indeed. Okay. Nice repost there. Um, let's go for a stun. Why not? Ah, resisted. He did have quite high resist. That was kind of silly for me to go for that, really. Finish you off as well. Okay, that's the first two gone, at least. But we've got the, the hardest two left, so... Definitely want to get to cooking, I think. Let's get them all going to get rid of those bodies. Gets a bit of bleed out there as well. And a massive heal. We've already got the disease, so that doesn't matter. Um, let's get that on you instead. We don't need cooking, actually, now, looking at it. Bringing you up front as well. Ah, the body cleared itself anyways, but I was going to say, it puts you in a bit easier spot to put if that body stays around. Please, I'm going to say, we need to really hope that those vomits don't hit, because that's going to be devastating if they do. I think we just go for a stun on you. Unfortunate miss there. That's okay, though. We can deal with it finish you off. This guy has quite a lot of health. I've kind of just left him to his own devices because this, these guys can be real hard to kill. There's the next disease. Oh my god. Oh. Holy hell. Resisted everything there. You are dead for bleed, but yeah, that's uh, this is the first time that I've been so majorly messed up by diseases. Like, if we take a look here, we've we've managed to take three diseases. This one here is um, pretty bad. Minus five accuracy and damage versus non-marked, and minus ten accuracy here. So we are, we are very inaccurate right now, which is a shame. But let's hope we can get through this. But yeah, there's going to be some definite disease removal at the end of all this. Definite disease removal. Canis has taken the worst hit of it, surprisingly. Ooh, this is a hard fight. This is a hard fight. We really need to see, uh, see ourselves getting hit here. Um, I think we want to set up reposts here on both both our um, front liners. So, 13 to 20 on 9 to 14. Let's go for this guy first, then. We can pray it's going to be good. Uh, bad, sorry, but we, we should be able to um, resist some of it. That's a huge hit coming in. And a stun. Okay, that's bad. 
That's real bad. Definitely want to set up our repose here. But that's real bad. This is scary. I'm going to go for a stun here. It's unlikely to succeed. Oh, no, we got it. Nice. I say unlikely. It was like a it was like a 50, 60% chance, I think. It's still a bit scary, though. Yeah. You should be okay now, right? We've got some restoration for ourselves. Just don't hit her in the back, please. Drop retreat. While he's stealthed. Oh, no, he doesn't stealth on that. On that. One of his moves, I think, stealths. And if he does, that definitely creates some problems for us. Gives us that prot, so I'm going to do that. Let's do this. Let's try this and see where we shuffle to. This is a free action and we're already out of position. Fucking hell. Bo that ball rush is insanely strong. This has really messed up our party order. Okay, we definitely need to cook now. Okay. So, now that you're in position 2, minus 20% damage was hidden while in position 3. Damn, that's not what we wanted to know. Um, plus 10 crit. We get plus 10 crit. Sadly, no crit. Try and go for another stun. You, unlikely, but we'll go for it. Good, good. This, this guy that's doing the constant trot retreat is just brutal for us. Um, it's going to shuffle single, break guard. Now nah, we're just going to have to push forward here. I hate doing this because it's just not really worth much to us, but we have to do it. These guys have high blight resist. There's no point in doing that. Good, good. We have to keep going for this. I mean, it does a little bit of damage. It's unlikely to stun again, though. We need this guy to die real soon. Tentacle Devour is going to hurt again. Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. Pig Spear, not seen that one yet. That's a very harming one. Ow. Very harming indeed. Okay. Um... You can take the extra healing received. Why not? There we go. That's huge. That's huge. Okay. Let's get in there. Push you back a bit, Verona. Oh, what's this going to do? Stuns. There you go. Damn, this is a really, really hard fight. That's going to hurt. Yep. Oh, my God. 19 over 4. It's annoying we can't give our restoration to someone else. Um, You are going to die next turn, so let's just go for you. I'm going to try this. It's unlikely to succeed with a 95% stun resist. Yeah. Well, it's minus 15 dodge, though. So that's nice. Trot retreat coming in. This guy's going to die this turn. We'll go for the slice, nonetheless. Gives us the ability to do our headbutt, which is nice. Oh, okay. Again, we're going for this ju literally just for the damage. If we get the stun, my god, we did. Be lovely, but I'm not looking for the stun. But there you go. Very hard fight there. Very, very hard fight, but we did manage it. And the great thing about playing as Maggie here is we always come out of fights, well, pretty much always, on full health. Very, very big, uh, big get for us. Very helpful. The flow of other world but yeah, corruption. difficult stuff right now. This is, this is, um, this is tough. Diseases have, have, have plagued us. I mean, in the Warrens, you should really go in more prepared for diseases. I really should have looked into that. Uh, but yeah, you go in here, and diseases can be a really big, a really big problem. And when you've got some of the mods that I do that add new diseases, you get some that are just insanely, insanely um, annoying to deal with. Okay, we've got um, one of these dudes. Not too focused on killing him. In fact, I'm actually going to completely 
ignore him to start with. Just because this dude can do so much damage to us. Um... I'm gonna go for you, just because if we do manage to stun you, it does it does pretty much guarantee us the kill, I think. Especially if we crit bleed in, my god. That's really good. We'll get that on you as well. Oh, really? Resist that blight? Unfortunate. But you are stunned, so that's gonna delay your ability to do anything by one. We really should set up our other repurst here, considering we've got blanket fire and rain of whips coming in going to be a lot of uh, multi-target hitting. Already, you can see it's working out for us. We did get a pretty heavy bleed there from Reign of Whips. Cover me. I do think he's dead, actually. Oh, no, he's got four HP, so he's not quite dead. Um, try and finish you off. Not quite. Definitely get rid of that bleed, because that's pretty bad. And yeah, set up the repose. We might lose out on this guy here. He is um, one round off Skadooshin, but... Oh, wait, this might... Ah, damn it. I was going to say that might kill him, but it didn't quite. We did get enough bleed to make sure this guy gets finished off, though, so that's okay. The greater the glory. Ah, oh, come on. He blew one HP off after this bleed. That's so infuriating. And now he's just uncover me, which gives him a massive dodge buff. Yes, we got him. I, I went for it. I tried it. I had to. We're going to go for the Constrict here for the kill. Unfortunately not. But he died anyways. But there you go. Lots of extra gold coming Remind in for us. I actually think we get rid of that and take all of these. Killer. There you go. Look. Pretty good haul there. Packs we don't need any of that. With loot are often low on supplies. Okay, we got a lot of rooms with nothing going on. Uh, Verona, you're the trap disarmer, aren't you? No, Maggie is, actually. I thought Verona would be a little more specialised into that, but apparently Maggie, as well as knowing her way around a stew pot, she also knows her way around the Warren traps. Maybe she's been studying. I know that people have been hosting study groups within the town and helping each other out for preparing for adventures, whether they go out regularly or not. But Maggie hasn't been out for a long time because she is the main cook of the hamlet. She's got quite a lot of duties already. Right, last fight here. I could go back around, but I'm just going to do the fight. And that's kind of why. We just got another treasurer. Again, basically the exact same. We're going to do the exact same thing we just did. This time it's not quite going to work the same though. We're mainly going to be looking at setting up repursts and um, taking out the bigger guys. Set up that repurst. Yeah, we're not going to worry about him this time. We've already got one of them. Sad miss there, unfortunately. Point blank, that could hurt. And it indeed, indeed did. Let's set up some good healing, shall we? Set up some good healing going. Yeah, you're basically not a concern at all. We probably won't be able to get you. Damn unfortunate miss there. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. The double repurst insta-kill. It happens, and it's beautiful when it does. Ah, unfortunate miss there. Damn, did take a bleed here. Do that. That moose. See you later. That blight's got up quite high now, actually. Um, I'm just going to do common toxins on you, mainly for the heal and prop. The stress heal's nice as well, but that's not what I'm doing it for, really. Another dodge. That's three in a row from, from you. Nice hit. Good bleed, and you're dead. Beautiful stuff. Size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate Ooh, wait a minute. Let's quickly get rid of that. In fact, we've got so much food and we don't need to camp. Let's just make sure people are okay. This should be the last room. And indeed it is. Very nice. Let's return to the hamlet. 
we're looking really good right now. And that was a that was a difficult one. We had some hard fights in there. Some definite hard fought battles. But that is everyone up to level five and six respectively. Very, very nice. No way. Hey! We need to lock that in if we can. But first of all, before we lock anything in. We need to deal with all of those the diseases. The fanatic will stalk parties and infected heroes. Here oh my god. Affected him. We got the fanatic about. Unequip all of our trinkets real quick. And yeah, let's just quickly check here. So mainly want to get rid of mind rot, I think. That's the worst one of the lot. Um Verona, Spotted Fever, and Maggie the Black Plague. Get rid of all of them at once. Uh, we do have one more diary entry to get into here before we go into anything else. Let me just do, go through that first. Uh, this is again by Blank Gaming for us for Sophia our Apostate. It was a lot worse than I thought today. I was set, oh, sorry. It was a lot worse than I thought. Today I was sent on a mission with a Vestal Annie. Throughout the whole adventure, she kept giving me weird looks, and she was just seemed she just seemed really angry. Like one wrong move from uh, from my part, and she'd lunge at me. I just I just don't understand these people. What I'm using is still the power of the light. It may be a very unconventional part of the light, but it's still the light. I just really hope she doesn't do something stupid out of her paranoia. Indeed, me too. But yeah, let's quickly check out what we've got in terms of our trinkets. Nothing great there. Um, nothing that that looks great off the off the bat right now. Uh, and let's quickly check out our stagecoach and see who we've got. Um. Yeah, unfortunately, no one knew there. Where everyone there's looking good. We've got level fives of everyone there as well. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.